Shalom Aleichem, everybody. It is Erev Shabbos, Parshat Vayishlach, and I wanted to share with you a beautiful, beautiful thought of the Meshachachma found on the Pasuk Vayichan Es Pnei Ha'ir, Perek Lamed Gimel, Pasuk Yuches. The Gemara tells us in Maseches Yuma and Av Chavches that Av Mavinu was Mekayim, as were the Avos, with Mekayim Kol HaTorah Kula. They kept all the mitzvahs even before they were commanded as a Eino mitzuva ve'ose. And the Gemara seems to suggest that Avma Vinu did not just keep mitzvos de oraisa, but he even kept the mitzvos midra bonon. And it says, for instance, the mitzvah of Erev Tavshilin. The question is, uh, is very, it's curious. Why of all mitzvahs de rabbonon, why of all mitzvos does the Gemara choose that Avram kept the mitzvah of Erev Tavshilin? And what does that mean exactly, that Avram kept the mitzvah of Erev Tavshilin after all? There was, no yet, there was not yet a concept of Yontif. What does it mean that he was preparing from Yontif to Shabbos? What does it mean? What's the message that the Gemara wants to convey to us that Chazal is telling us in that Avram kept the mitzvah of Erev Tavshil? Moreover, the Psik the Rabbasi, Parsha Yud Aleph, in our Pasuk, in our Parsha, on our Pasuk, Vayichan es Pnei Ha'ir, tells us that Yaakov too kept mitzvahs. And he even kept the mitzvah of Eruv Tchumin. To my focus, whether it's a mitzvah or rice or drabonim, but once again, why are we emphasizing and highlighting the mitzvah of Erev Tchumin that that was the mitzvah that Yaakov kept, even that, on this pasuk by Yichan es Pnei Ha'ir? What is the fixation that Chazal have with the Avos and Eruvim? What exactly is the idea? So it comes along the Meshachach and explains a beautiful shot, beautiful idea. See, Avma Vinu, what was his mission? His mission in life was Chesed, Kiruv, this was what Avram was to design, what his mission was, was to bring monotheism, bring Hashem into the world. And Avram Avinu had a Yitzchak, he had a Yishma. He related to the Gentile world, he related to the outside world, and his mission was to, as much as possible, bring them in. And he did this, as many Kirov workers do. It starts with a good meal. You bring people into your house, a good shunt good food, a barbecue, and you bring them in, you make them feel at home and warm, and then you start talking to them about religion, about Hashem. This was the mission of Avma Vinu, Hachnosas Orchim, and thereby spreading the word of Hashem. If there's one mitzvah that is built on the principle of Hachnosas Orchim, it's the mitzvah of Erev Tavshilin. What allows us to go ahead and cook from Yontif to Shabbos, so the idea there of Tavshilin is, after all, cooking from Yontif to the next day, that's an Isser Doraisa, that's Bishel Doraisa. You can cook from Yontif to Yontif, but Yontif to after Yontif, even Shabbos, that's an Isser Doraisa. Pashim Shah. So it's built on, Erev Tavshilin is built on the idea that we can go ahead and knock that Isser Doraisa down to an Isser Drabon. How, do, how does it work? Hoil v'ikloi orchim chazile. Since if, gen, if orchim come in, guests come in on Yontif, and I'm preparing this food for after Yontif, but since guests might come in, I'm going to feed them this food. So latent within my cooking for Shabbos, for tomorrow, is the possibility that this food actually might be used today if unexpected guests come in. The whole principle, that knocks the Yisra down to an Yisra drop on them, and that enables us to Erev Tavshilin to go ahead and cook from Yom Tov to Shabbos. The whole premise of Erev Tavshilin, that whole heter is built on guests coming in, and this embodies and exemplifies the life of Avram Avinu through his Hachnas Asorchim, through his opening up of his home, he spreads the word of Torah as Hanefesh Asher Asu Becharon to the entire world. And that's exactly the mission and the mission statement of Avram Avinu. In contrast, you have Yaakov. Yaakov, his sons, there is no Yishmael in the picture. He understands that his offspring, his bias is Shalit. He has Yud Beis Shvatim, and this is Klal Yisrael. And now there's a very different mission. Once Klai is complete, the family of Klai is complete, there is no, if you will, foreign elements. There's no Esau in the picture, there's no Yishmael in the picture. Now is the time, says Yaakov Avinu, for us to build from within. It's not about bringing the rest of the world in. Now we have to fortify ourselves, build ourselves, build the nation of Klai And that requires setting boundaries says the Meshachachma, this was the message of the Tchumen, Vayichan es Penei Ha'ir, now to set those boundaries. And as we go forward, that's exactly what we say in Tfilas Mincha, in Shabbos, Yaakov Ubanav Yanuchubo. Avram Yogel Yitzhak Yiranein Yaakov Ubanav. It's always now Yaakov Ubanav because 
His bias is Sholem. He has Yud Beis Shvatim, and now his mission is not to do Kiru on the entire world, but is to go ahead and preserve, to protect, and to make great his bias. His mitasa was Shlema. And this is what you find again. Why is Yaakov Avinu upset at Rachel when she takes away Lavan's idols, his trophim? Because that was the world of Avram. To go ahead and remove Avodah Zara from the Gentiles, that was something that was the right thing to do at the time of Avram. Now, the mission was internal, to work on oneself. That was the mission of Christ. Well, that's what they're supposed to do in these formative times. And therefore, he gets angry that she steals the trophim. And when Bnei Yisrael sit in Mitzrayim, they have their own community in Golshed, following the mission of the Tchumen of Yaakov Avinu. And this is really what Yaakov is all about. This is what he teaches us, is the Tchumen, the boundaries. And there's a place, there's always a place, we're not far from Hanukkah. And there's certainly times when the Gemara tells us, Pirsume Nisa, we have to project outwardly, we have to project to the street. And then there are other times, we have to go ahead and build ourselves, protect ourselves internally, for example, the Shabbos candles are inside the house, Shalom Bayis. The Hanukkah candles protect, project to the street. And there's time and a place for everything. A person has to understand that when he's in his formative times, when he's weak, when he needs strengthening, when he needs to be bolstered, then he goes internal. Then he goes ahead and builds himself. Once he has that inner strength, that power, so then he can go ahead and seek to influence others. And different stages of life, different stages, warrant different responses. Avraham was ready, was prepared to project out. Yaakov, Yitzchak as well. But when it comes to the formation of Chal Yisrael, the Yud Beis Shvatim, in those early years, so that was the time to set those Tchumen. And as we go ahead and navigate what is sometimes a very, very challenging world, whether we're college students, very, very challenging. Yeshiva students, well, suppose it's challenges. As we build our lives, is to go ahead and understand there's a time where we're going to be Makari of the world, we can go ahead and be out there, bringing other people in. There are other times where we have to close the ranks. Meshach points out there was a point where we stopped taking converts, we did not proselytize, we did not go ahead and seek to bring others into our ranks. That's generally the Hashkafa, is to work on building ourselves up, fortifying ourselves. We live in a very, very challenging world. A world where so many foreign values infiltrate our system, who we are, what we're all about. We ask ourselves, as we again approach Hanukkah and the challenges of Yavon and culture around us, the Hellenistic reculture, did we? We definitely won the battle. But we have to ask ourselves if indeed we were successful in winning the war. And if we weren't, it's a war that we continue to fight, we continue to be challenged by. And Be'ez Zashem, as we close ranks, strengthen ourselves. That will give us the power then to influence others, to be that Or Lagoyim, which is certainly our mission. When we are strong internally, then we can be that Or Lagoyim externally. When unfortunately we have weakness internally, then as we go ahead and open ranks, we lose so many. So always make sure the internal is strong. Only then are we able to project outwards. This is the Tchumen that were made by Yaakov. Knowing the right time, the time and the place for everything. That's our mission. I wish everyone a wonderful Shabbos.